the most popular beer in Australia for two years in a row. 2023's winner of the Gab's Hottest 100 voted most popular craft beer in Australia. What makes the mountain culture status quo pale ale our favorite drop? Gab's or the great Australasian beer spec tabular a competition where we pretty much rate our favorite beers in Australia and for the second year in a row mountain culture status quo pale ale has won but what makes Australians love this beer some context mountain culture starting out in New South Wales in 2019 they wanted to brew great beers from the get-go and it has worked out quite successfully for them now, I am not much of a beer cicerone, but I'm going to give it my best crack and give some of my best critiques that I can think of. Now, I'm going to start with the head retention on this beer. It's actually not too bad. It's been about two minutes since I've poured this beer. Still got some big bubbles and you've got lots of little small bubbles, which means it's, it's, a, it's a pretty good start. It's a pretty good start. So, the three things I want to critique this beer on are aroma, flavour, and aftertaste. I think that's a pretty good start. A basic coverage of what you want from a beer. Now, color-wise, it is a quite pale. It kind of looks like pineapple juice. So even though it does say pale ale on the front of the can, it is actually an IPA, so it's an Indian pale ale. I'm expecting a lot of hop in an Indian pale ale. It's kind of got a tropical scent to it, if that makes sense. Kind of those, those citrusy type fruits. Okay, let's dive in. Let's see what it tastes like. That's bitter, but good bitter. All right, the aftertaste with that one lingered for about, about five seconds, I'd say roughly. That's a quite, quite a linger for an aftertaste. It is quite hoppy. So it's got some bitter hops in there. I actually might look up what hops are in this beer. Um, after a quick Google, there are four hops in this beer. So you've got Citra, you've got Cash, Cashmere, Centennial, Citra, and Mosaic. Now, Mosaic hops are one I've had before, but it does smell really good. I really like the smell of this beer. What I really want to know is what hop they're using to dry hop it. So they are doing late hopping with this beer, so that's probably where most of that aroma comes from. But overall, I can see why people like this. Could I sit down and drink like eight in one session? Probably not, because it is quite a heavy beer. The mouthfeel on it, the mouthfeel is like juice. So you know how juice kind of has that sticky kind of in your mouth texture? That's what it's like. It's like juice if beer was a juice. I'm sure an older person would see this and go, I don't like those fruity beers. It's not a fruity beer, but... It's got some of those tropical aromas and some of those tropical flavors that you might actually like in a beer. So I can see why this is one of Australia's most favorite beers. I just read the back of the can and it says it's a tropical beer. So I was right on the tropical flavors, which is pretty good. Is it one of my favorite? Look, I will have it again. I will have it again. It's, it's good. I can understand why it's number one. I can. Okay, let's recap with this beer. Aroma, very tropically. Taste, it's quite bitter, has a long lingering aftertaste, which is quite nice as well. My, the aroma on this, I can't go past that. The aroma of this beer is really, really nice. Um, I think they did well to dry hop this beer. It was a very, very wise choice. choice. But other than that, if you're into tropical beers, maybe you like some tropical fruit. Well, I know the perfect place where you can find some of these things. So hit subscribe and follow to watch this video right here. Cheers, guys.